Hi, Dave here, and today we're going to check out the work of Nivan Chanthara. Hopefully, I'm saying his name right. Um, so he is a uh, concept artist based in Canada, Montreal. Um, I actually like his style. It's very... Some of his work actually feels animated just because of the way he renders his um, drawings. Um, he does have a few pieces where he does heavily photo bash. Um, and they're actually pretty high quality. Um, however, I do... I mean, I know I'm very into like the whole impressionistic thing, but seeing his drawings and the way he renders um, some of them or colors them, um, I'm starting to acquire that kind of look or uh, I'm starting to kind of like that look even more and I kind of want to try it as well. Um, and yeah, it's uh, from my own kind of personal project, I feel like his work really speaks to me. <laughs> And it's just so cool seeing his work. Um, he's very different, I guess. Like he stands out in the the art community for me. Um, a lot of his work involves like uh, very humanoid forms, lots of skulls, bones, and he likes playing a lot with like uh, the fabric or like, like fabrics or clothing or any kind of like um, folds. And he likes to combine that um, or those things in his work. Um, obviously it does more like, it's kind of like a cyborg, android, mech kind of humanoid thing. And some of, some of them do actually have like animal characteristics and, uh, yeah, I'm excited to kind of review this work. I do have like a lot of tabs open, so hopefully my laptop won't, um, crash and shit. Um, and I'm actually going to avoid his photo bash stuff. Um, just because I, th I want to focus more on his like colored and stuff and like in this kind of style and also his drawings in general um i do recommend you check out his art station portfolio he also has a patreon so if you want to kind of check out his process and shit um i will be linking all of the links in the description below so yeah that, let's get started um so he does have this style like he has multiple styles right i do like this one the best um he, it's kind of like a clean rendering it's almost like from an anime shot right and a lot of his like drawings are um they look very dynamic and animated and what's so cool is that he actually starts out with like drawings like on his sketchbook like uh, with pencil and then he'll um i don't think he'll he'll ink it in photoshop maybe he'll darken the the sketch lines but that's pretty much it more often than not if you check out his portfolio that's how he approaches his um work and it's super cool uh, he does obviously the coloring in um photoshop and he does this thing where he'll, um, let's say in this photo or in this art piece, he'll use like an image and then he'll use some kind of photo, uh, Photoshop filter, um, to kind of make that into some kind of, um, line work. And it's such a great technique to kind of save time. And, um, it's just so cool seeing how he does it, right? And again, when he does his, excuse me, when he does his renderings, it's not very heavy on the texture. Sometimes he'll use that photo thingy with the with the filter but um a lot of his stuff are kind of in this style where it's a bit more clean right and it'll really show off like the folds um he'll usually try to hide the uh like the actual mechanical parts and i actually do like this kind of look um it's uh it's where you kind of cover you know the the mechanical kind of elements and shit and it does have a more cleaner look and it looks a bit more sexy i guess um and again the way he renders shit right um it's very clean he knows how to like uh place he knows where to place like the highlights and shit and the folds and it looks um acceptable <laughs> um i actually also like the way he does his smoke it's just um like these sorts of things it's very very anime ish and that's what i like about that sort of thing i mean this frame itself looks like a keyframe from some kind of film, I guess. And again, with the background, he'll use a photo and then he'll do that photo filter thing. And again, this one's a bit more, it's kind of humanoid, but it has like animal characteristics, right? It's kind of running some like some kind of dog or something. Um, and a lot of his works is just super cool. Um, again, he'll simplify a lot when it comes to like the smoke. And he'll even use that for maybe composition purposes. It just looks really cool. 
and uh, yeah, he doesn't actually ink a lot of his stuff, which is nice. And uh, he'll, I think it saves time, obviously. Um, and you'll see in his pencil sketches, like over time, it gets more refined. And I'm not sure if he just cleans up his work in his sketchbook to make it more like presentable and easier to like um, color in Photoshop. But there is this kind of progression I've seen in his art station portfolio. Similar things, kind of like a dog running, like a frog thing. But it does have like a humanoid look to it. Um, and look at how it's a lot of his sketches are very strong. Um, I'm not sure how to explain it. Um, it's just awesome to look at. And when he does like his sketches, he doesn't really do the lighting. Obviously, he'll just focus like on the main contours, and then he'll figure out the lighting and the folds like within the silhouette in in the actual kind of color phase. Um, and it's super cool how it actually looks convincing and he won't use like a lot of values he'll use enough and i think it does help simplify things like i do like his personal process for creating these concepts um he's pretty much developed his own like again just by seeing this photo there's really no one else that does the way he does his thing um maybe there are similar looking ones but i think he's pretty much owned this kind of style because he's done so much work and it's almost like um, unquestionable, right? <laughs> um, oh shit, I mean look at that smoke though. I'm very dynamic scene. Um, and yeah, I think he really does. I'm not sure, I can't remember if he uh, showed like a pencil sketch of this, but if you just check out his work, a lot of it starts from his sketchbook and then it gets colored in Photoshop. Um, and again, not a lot of texture. Maybe in the background, he'll put some texture and sometimes in the actual character. But a lot of his work involves this kind of flat way of rendering. Um, it's not so flat that it looks flat, like a comic book. It has enough like shadows and like highlights that it makes it look a bit 3D. So that's pretty cool. Um, and again, but, but yeah, there's hardly like any texture. I mean, here you can see like a few scratches, but it's very kind of hand painted. Everything else seems smooth. Right? And again, I like the smoke thing. Very big strokes. Uh, it almost feels, again, like anime-ish. Um, he does know how to like paint the corners. He'll add this kind of highlight um, to kind of make it look a bit more rounded, I guess. And more 3D-ish. And it's cool seeing like his actual pencil sketch. I mean, he does darken it, obviously, so he can kind of render it better. Or he can see it better when he's coloring and shit. But it's cool seeing his original pencil strokes. Um, it it has a nice kind of uh, layering effect with the colors or his rendering style. And just seeing all of those layers together looks pretty cool. Um, nice. Um, I mean, look at that. Jesus Christ. Um, oh, maybe he'll also do like, a, he'll add some depth in his work. Um, it's very subtle. It's not too like strong, but... His work, again, this, even though he uses a very kind of, um, a clean kind of rendering style, it, it still looks, again, 3D, and it feels almost always like it's in space. Um, so it's not kind of just a standstill kind of thing. And even with the backgrounds, he'll always try to find a way, especially when it can, when, especially when he's trying to, especially when he's trying to, uh, color it, he'll add, like, a simple background, um, and maybe blur it or something, but, yes. Ooh, honey chan. <laughs> Excuse me. Um. Yeah, awesome. Very dynamic um, pose. Uh, I'm not sure if it's influenced by comics or something, but a lot of his like figures are moving and they're not kind of in a boring position, like in a kind of side view and shit. Um, they're almost like uh, they're almost always doing something. And it, what I do like about his work is that is that it's kind of a full figure thing. It's not just like half half body. And I do have a tendency to kind of stop in the waist, because reasons, right? Um, and you look at look at those folds, though. I mean, fuck. And uh, he's pretty good with like basic anatomy, like hands. Um, he'll have a few pieces where he does like paint or draw face, but a lot of his work is more like mech-ish. Um, and again, he's pretty good with folds. Uh, maybe he, he did add this texture later this kind of camo thing 
um, as a kind of additional element to kind of make it more um, military-ish. Um, but the rendering, st- but the rendering style is still kind of there. I notice how the back, this uh, leg behind the front leg, and this hand are kind of grayed out slightly. Like, like the levels aren't the same as the ones closer to you, and so it's it's a kind of a subtle way to z- signify some sense of um, depth in this piece. Even though the background isn't fully colored and shit, it can make it look more like it's like it's in space, right? Um, awesome. Um, again, it's uh, it's doing something. It's moving, um, very dynamic piece, and um, almost like a Spider-Man kind of pose. Like it's kind of like flying or jumping. Um, this one's more of a, a standstill, but it, even though it's kind of standing, it has a nice way of standing, right? It's pretty dynamic and it's not boring at all. Um, I like the hands; they're very sharp, pointy fingertips. The feet are actually more talon-like; like they can grab onto something. And again, the way he does his folds and the highlights within those folds are pretty cool. Oh, my neck. Um, and yeah. And again, it's it, it shows that you don't have to like show every single mechanical part, right? Um, it's kind of a nice way to... Uh, it has a nice look, you know, like if you cover it with shit. Um, you, you'll see it a lot in like factories because I think it's, uh, it's, really more for, uh, it's really more for protection to kind of avoid the equipment from being... Um, Damaged, I guess. So that's pretty cool. Um, nice. Right? If you zoom in. Oh, it's not too big. Um, again, he kind of grayed out this art, the arm and, and the leg in the back to kind of add some sense of depth. Um, pretty cool stuff. And again, he, he already has a kind of process, so it's going to be easier for him to just pump out a lot, a lot of concepts. Um, so hopefully one day I can ha- have my own kind of process and just be able to like pump out like just a, a lot of shit, right? Oh, this one's a bit more, you can see more of the, the sketchiness in this one. Maybe he did this in Photoshop, like the sketch, uh, I can't say, but, uh, again with his, even if the sketch is not like super dark and shit. You can still tell by the the way it's drawn and like the way it's rendered. It's pretty much still his work, so that's pretty cool. Um, right. Um, this is actually, I think, I believe these are more of his earlier works, I guess. Um, and over time, again, I do recommend to check out his art station, and you can see that kind of slow development. Like he gets finer by by. Uh, through time, right? Um, so this sketch, in this kind of, um, you'll see the line work here. And he did kind of uh, suggest the fold with the line. But he also did another version with a colored version. Or he, he did more folds in the kind of coloring phase. You can see here, the way he did the highlight and shit. And just seeing like the overlapping of like the sketch and the color is... Um, like it shows so much of the... The process, I guess. Um, so this one's more of a... A cop? Shit. I like the design. He does have like a design sense. Again, it's very kind of heavy on like skulls, skeleton-ish stuff. And he likes covering his mechs with like fabric. He likes like clothing or this kind of... um, Just some kind of uh, drapery or cape stuff sometimes. Especially when it comes to his photo bashing um, pieces or photo bashed pieces. Um, maybe it's more for a composition thing, but it's what I've noticed in his work. Um, and, and again, he's very good with like the whole folds thing again. So fuck. Um, <laughs> so this one's a, a page from sketchbook and he did color the entire page in Photoshop, I believe. Shit. Oh shit, I deleted it. Where the fuck is it? Oh no, I'm sorry. He does have a colored version of it. Jesus Christ. Um, I have so many tabs. Um, but yeah, he'll have like a lot of uh, a lot of his uh, portfolio pieces involve his sketchbook pages. Um, just the simple like pencil stuff. And sometimes he'll post like the colored version. Um, so that's pretty cool to see. And like the majority of his work is just uh, it's it's done here. But like the way the folds are done and rendered with the highlights and shit, 
it's mostly done in Photoshop. Here it's more of like it's heavy on the contour, just like the main silhouette. And then the detailing, the lighting is uh, done in Photoshop. Um, so, th so that's a nice way to also kind of phase out your work. Not everything has to be figured out in this kind of sketch phase, right? Uh, this is actually one of his mo mo more recent work, I guess, because you can tell by the pencils, it it's a bit more refined, right? I feel. Um, same thing here. Oh, here you can actually see some faces. Um, and his faces also look kind of like anime-ish, almost. Um, it's, uh, it's a bit stylized, but it does have an exaggeration to it, kind of like anime. And uh, maybe he does watch anime. <laughs> I'm not sure, but uh, this is actually um, not exactly photo bash, but he it's a it's a an example of his way of like this whole texture thing. He uses a photo and then converts it to some kind of line thing, and then he'll kind of apply that to his main sketch. And it's a great way to save time, and it adds a bit of extra grit to the the work or the piece. Um, and it's a nice kind of compliment to his clean rendering style, right? And again, with the with the whole smoke thing, he likes to add... Even his smoke looks like anime, right? <laughs> like it's from a shot in, anime, in an anime, right? Pretty awesome. Um, I love his style. And look at the highlights here in the face. It makes it look 3D. Even if it's kind of inked, you can tell by it, it, the line work or the sketch still, still shows. Um, but it... Because it's kind of... Uh, combined with some decent lighting, it looks kind of 3D, right? This one's an awesome piece. Like most of his work. Or all of his work. Um, oh, this one's also another photo bash thing. Um, he does a lot of tutorials on his Patreon. So again, check him out there. Um, he has a few where he discusses his coloring technique for the more clean stuff like this, I guess. And then he has like... The photo bashed kind of tutorials and shit. Um, look at that shit. Um, he likes to use like a lot of muscle photos, um, flesh photos, um, and I do like his design sense. Like he has like a, obviously like a painting illustration style or drawing style. He also has like a design style, very organic forms. Um, and uh, I am leaning more into his into this kind of thing, where. The mechs are more kind of animal-like or human-like, very kind of organic, and the parts aren't always seen, or most of it is kind of covered. Um, I am kind of leaning into that thing. And I feel like it's very... maybe it's influenced by the Ava, the Evangelion kind of thing. Because I feel like... I don't know, it looks very similar to the Evangelion types of mechs. Where they're more very long-limbed, which I do like. Because I can relate, because I have like long limbs compared to my proportions are kind of different, right? <laughs> and I don't know, it feels like maybe he is influenced by that sort of thing. Um, and even in his sketches, they're very dynamic. Um, I do think this is just a pencil, but look at how clean it is. Uh, maybe he does have like a preliminary sketch, and then he'll do like another more refined version. Um, And yeah, he has a lot of these where he just shows off his pencil sketches. Um, and it makes me kind of, it, it, it's a great reminder that drawing is such a fundamental skill in art. And I feel like I've neglected that part of me or that skill because um, there are some things that are better done in drawings first than um, painting. So I don't think he'll be able to achieve the same thing if he starts this thing with the, like in painting. Um, I feel like he can express himself better when doing these sorts of um, characters um, or mechs, right? Oh, super cool. Oh, shit. Um, look, at those, look at those hands. They're pretty cool. Um, very, very organic looking. Even though it's kind of obviously part mechanized, it has that natural look to it. Um, another, another example of this technique where he adds kind of like this photo that becomes or that he turns into some kind of line texture combined with this kind of anime clean render style right he does blur the background a bit and again with this whole smoke thing very very the whole thing looks like again like an anime piece right 
Um, very heavy on the military side. Um, lots of like equipment, cargo pants, camo textures. Um, awesome. And uh, shit, fucking awesome. Even the blade looks pretty pretty cool. Um, oh, here he does use a. He doesn't use like a line to signify the. Or to illustrate the smoke, he uses kind of a brush for that sort of thing. In the background, he did use that photo filter thing, right? That line filter thing in Photoshop, right? So this is the original sketch. I mean, look at how uh, like 90% of it is determined in this phase. And then he just colors it, renders it. Like even if you focus on like the arms, the legs, the, the abs, there's hardly any folds. The only folds you can really see are the ones in the edge or in the actual kind of contour or silhouette or in the edge of the whole thing. And most and everything else is kind of done within uh, through the rendering, through the lighting, through the, the variations of values. Um, so that's pretty cool. And again, he likes to add a kind of highlight thing, um, usually in the edge between two values. And it adds, it makes it look more 3D, I guess. Um, very cool stuff. I mean, look at this arm. You can't really see the, the insides here. It's very, very suggested. You can see like the, the outside folds done with line. And then everything else is just, like, you can actually see that he kept the same line, right? But the folds within, he does it himself or in this kind of face with the whole coloring lighting thing. Very cool approach. Um, and I like this style better, or I'm more interested in this than his photo bash. I mean, his photo bash stuff, very, very high quality, but I feel like when it comes to like ideation, this feels faster to me. And at the same time, it looks awesome, right? And look at, again, the value change is kind of light part and dark part. In the edge, there's this kind of um, lighter value. So it's not exactly a highlight. Sometimes it's it does show the highlight, or it's meant to show the highlight, but sometimes I think it feels more like a style thing. Um, but most of it is mostly for um, for lighting purposes, I guess. Um, damn. And again, most of it is done in the pencil sketch. Jesus. And he does start traditionally in the sketchbook and then he colors it in Photoshop again. Um, so another photo bash piece. Uh, check out this Patreon again. Awesome. Lots of muscles here. Photo bashed in. Very thick thighs. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. Awesome again. And he did add a simple background. Um, he used some kind of photo. Blurred it a bit. Did use the kind of line texture um, filter. And again, very clean kind of rendering style. Um, this is the sketch and this is the... Uh, Ah, <sighs> fuck. <laughs> One day. <laughs> oh my god. Same thing here. Um, and you can see a consistency, not just in terms of his process, but in terms of his design sense. Like he has a lean, right? Um, and hopefully I find my own kind of thing one day, the same way he, uh, he found his thing. Because... Yeah, he can express himself so much. Um, and he's kind of a master. He's, well, kind of a master, I guess. Because maybe he doesn't feel the same thing. Because usually that's what people we call masters feel. They don't really feel like they're good sometimes. But uh, maybe I do think he kind of feels like, yeah, I'm pretty good. Because <laughs> I mean, I mean, come on, look at his work. It's pretty good, right? Uh, this is the cover for his book. Um, and again, that kind of highlight thing here. Oh, sexy. I'm sexy and I know it. Um. Oh shit, bro. Oh, so this is, I think, the line sketch. He did edit it perhaps in Photoshop to kind of darken it a bit more. He probably played with the levels a bit to kind of increase the contrast. So another pencil sketchbook page. Pencil sketch from his sketchbook page. Fuck. Um, and again, pretty cool. And a lot of it is determined. Here, you'll see him suggest the, uh, the folds a bit, but I do think, based on seeing his work, um, he'll do most of the, the lighting, obviously, in the um, coloring, rendering phase. Here's focus more on the design or the forms. 
of the the character, right? Um, shit. Pretty cool stuff, man. Oof. Damn. Oh, he has a pencil sketch of this. I mean, look at how rough it is. This one's actually pretty rough, pretty kind of loose, almost kind of loose. And then he does refine it, I guess. Oh no, he did not. You can see the same sketch, I think. But he did darken it a bit. Uh, maybe he cleaned it up, like the edges a bit. Um, but he did also increase the contrast to make it look more like a line or inked kind of thing. Um, but it does become more when he colors it and adds like a background and adds lighting and renders it and colors it, adds some debris, adds some effects. Um, and all of that together looks awesome, right? It looks very presentable. Um, so these are more of his ink. Um, I think he used some kind of gouache, ink with gouache. Um, looks pretty cool. He, he doesn't have like a lot of these, but it's very, very awesome to look at. Um, very organic still, even though it's a, the, the approach is different. Um, but design in design wise, it's still pretty much his, um, right? Very organic looking things. Um, pretty cool. And again, he does this traditionally, which is awesome. Um, look at that. It reminds me of the work of uh, Prog Wang. Um, he doesn't have like a lot of work on Arc Station. He has a couple, but he has a similar design sense. A bit more rounded forms for Prague Wang. Um, Nivan Shantara is... He has a few of these, um, but a lot of his work is more like this. Like sharper. Not super sharp, but it's a bit more angular. Um, it leans more towards an angular side. The thing that really makes it soft is the, the fabric stuff. The organic parts. Or the fabric, the covered stuff essentially is what makes it more soft. Um, um, so yeah, more of his ink sketches here. Right, this one's pretty deep, pretty dark. Um, inks, and again, very dynamic. Um, uh, another colored piece. Uh, some kind of cover or something not sure um, but again he likes to do that smoke thing he likes to keep the smoke off and clean like just one color with a shadow and that's pretty much it um, and again he's very heavy on the folds on the the rendering but, but it, even though it's like so it feels like it's so much right but because he renders it uh, with a brush that's kind of just simple and very kind of solid it's uh, it doesn't overwhelm your eyes, so I do think it's a uh, it does create a nice balance, I guess. Nice. Um, he does uh, add some values in the background for these pieces. Um, usually, he'll just leave it white in the earlier pieces that we kind of reviewed. Um, or I think he was inspired by a shot from something, and then he wanted to make his own thing and kind of put his creation in it. Um, this one feels like a keyframe again of an anime. Um, awesome, 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 awesome. Oh, I love that he put some saliva here, right? Pretty, pretty awesome. And again, look at the way he paints, he, the way he renders. It's very, not heavily textured, very bold, very direct. Um, yeah. It really does, again, look like an anime style-ish kind of thing. Very clean. Um, well, not very clean, like super like fine, but um, because of its lack of texture from the brush, it looks more clean, right? And again, lots of skulls, military gear, lots of folds, um, armor. Damn, nice teeth. Um, look at that. Look at the highlights again and this kind of armor. Um, he likes to cover the mechs definitely. Even the uh, this black part is obviously the one that's covered, I think. But the armor on top of that, I think the, the orange part is also organic. Um, so it's not just the fabric. Even the armor itself is a bit organic. Um, but there are, it's, a, it's a combination of like angular stuff and soft stuff. Um, 
And a lot of his work isn't like one solid edge. Or like there's so many little variations in terms of its contour. So it's not a perfectly clean kind of form. There are like little breaks in the silhouette of each, of each kind of shape. And maybe that adds to that natural feeling even though he's focusing more on like mechs and shit. Because it's not like a perfect kind of um, thing. Whether it be the armor or the kind of fabric, protective fabric thingy, um, it looks a bit more natural. Even the way he, like, because he also add, adds, like, folds. I'm oh, sorry, not just the, the folds here, no, or fabric, but, like, capes and shit. Like, this kind of hanging stuff. It looks more human, I guess. Like, it's kind of adding clothing to the thing. So, it, it feels like human, right? Again, heavy on like the, the highlights. I mean, look at that. This one's more cute. Um, very, very playful. Um, and uh, again, with the smoke thing, very, very simple and very dynamic. He likes to kind of compliment or use that as kind of a a compliment to the, the subject matter. Even the way he does like the extra strings here or the cables attached to, the, to these sorts of... Um, um, sensors, perhaps. Um, it kind of adds to the composition of the thing. And even the background, the way it's kind of tilted. Right? Um, but this one's more of a full shot, but it's in portrait mode. Nice knee. And again, he likes to add clothing a bit. Um, this one does have more of a human kind of face, right? Because um, usually he'll, he'll, um, he won't show eyes. He'll, he'll usually just go for the mouth. Um, if he's doing like a mech kind of head, um, but this, in this case, he did add like an eye socket, so that's pretty cool. Um, another kind of fully, like it's, uh, the background isn't white, you know, it, it isn't white, right? Um, again, more fabrics or drapery or kind of a cape thing. Um, it adds more personality, personality to the thing, even though it's a, a mech. So that's kind of a cool thing. Um, and again, the way it's written, look at this highlight here. Jesus Christ. It's not too hard. It does kind of fade out a bit. Right? Usually he's a bit more direct, like more, uh, you can see like it's, it's a bit hard edged when he does like the highlights and shit. But in this case, it's uh, it's a bit softer. So maybe it's because of the, it's a bit, um, what's the word? Reflective or something. Um, or it has kind of a, Almost like a matte feel. I'm not sure, but um, yeah. But it doesn't overdo it because the moment you kind of make it so, like you add gradients, it becomes more 3D-ish, right? And I feel like he wants to make it look a bit flat. It won't totally look flat because of the way he renders, but he wants to keep it clean, I guess, and not make it so like um, um, like it's some kind of 3D model, right? He likes a kind of clean look. Generally speaking, oh, I do like this because uh, he did, he did, he did, <laughs> he did develop the background a bit. Maybe he did some photo bashing, but I do like he how he drew most of the the parts, right? And uh, he also has a bit of storytelling in his work, right? It's not just like again when he does his mechs, uh, it's not just like a generic kind of pose, like a side view or a three quarter view, you know. Um, he'll add a bit of story in it. Um, and it makes you want to see more of it, right? That's pretty cool. Um, and yeah. Oh, I loved if it's um, I like seeing if it's like a whole scene. It does feel again like it's an anime shot. Oh, and I'm kind of excited to de to develop my own kind of project just because I think it's one of the the folks that I can really look up to in terms of because he has he he's good in storytelling. Um. He's good in design. He has like a design sense. His illustration, drawing, rendering style is pretty cool. And I feel like I can learn a lot from just checking out his work and, you know, breaking down his like shit. Um, again, another full scene. I mean, look at that. It looks awesome. Seeing all of it together at the same time. The environment, the smoke, the additional kind of debris, the actual character. I mean, oh, beautiful. Right? Oh, nice kind of back shot a bit. Um, and again, the drapery 
or a cape thingy or robe I guess. Um, here he does have like a vehicle design. He doesn't do a lot of these but you can tell even the way he does his vehicles it, it has a the same kind of design forms as his characters. Um, so he does have that kind of lean right. And you can tell th these guys are kind of um oh this guy's smoking this guy's kind of carrying something um they have some kind of assistant perhaps in the back like a dog thing perhaps and we have this guy i like this i like the way this guy is kind of sitting it looks it feels human to me right so maybe i'm not sure if this, these are actual human beings or maybe there are mechs that have like personalities right um Oh shit, I, I forgot. Um, um, if you look at his work, there's a lot of graffiti, right? I think he does it as well, right? Because he is a graffiti artist as well, so maybe he does like the graffiti text and shit. And it does do graffiti, so that's pretty cool. Oh shit, oh shit. Look at the way he does his graffiti. Assuming he did this, um, I think he did. Like the way it's a bit kind of uh, quick and dashy. It's also the way his shit is drawn, like the way his uh, subjects are drawn. It's a bit dashy, or I mean, that's not the word. It's a bit um, like quick, sharp, quick turns and shit. And graffiti artists, especially the ones that focus more on like, well, graffiti does focus on text, right? Um, there's so many styles to graffiti, right? Um, like some are more like circular and rounded and more cute, and I feel like he's more of the this thing. So maybe there is a nice transfer from his graffiti sense that kind of goes into his concept art. Whoa! Awesome. Um, hopefully I'm right. <laughs> so this one's more of a top-down shot. You're seeing this guy from above. He's probably chilling, waiting for someone perhaps, or just, you know, um, emoting and shit. I, uh, the background is left kind of simple, kind of white, um, with some kind of texture from a photo perhaps. Um, uh, this one, the background is more grayed out, has some kind of value in it, very very dark, grayed out. Um, but again, look at the lighting of this beautiful, beautiful subject. Um, it has a bit of backlighting here. Um, nice shadow depicted in the, the the ground here. And again, the whole cape thing or the, the folds, the fabric thing. Um, and again, the way he renders like the arms and the fold in general, the way he does the highlights. Um, very well done. And some debris and shit. Flying kind of particles and shit. Um, oh! Nice uh, shot here. Um, the portrait shot. Um, and he likes adding like uh, small uh, tilts. He likes to make them do shit like kind of tilting the head and moving the body. Um, this one's more of a, it's not a full body piece, but even if it's kind of cut in the kind of midsection, you could still see a bit of like a characterization. Like it's not just a boring generic head, you know, like a, a pose. So I, I want to bring that to my work as well, because you're already kind of dabbling into storytelling when just adding a bit of shift in the body, you know. Um, yeah. Another vehicle shot. I think it's the same vehicle, um, but this time another mech is kind of exploring the ship, right? Um, so this one's a more a full figure, but it's kind of in a dynamic pose, almost like in a comic book pose. Think Spider-Man, right? Um, oh, he's eating like fries. See, it's 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 these sorts of things that it it it's really cool to me. Is that a baby? Like a baby mech? I can't say. Um, right? It's these little things that kind of make it look interesting, and it makes it it makes it more kind of relatable, right? And I want to be able to bring that into my own work as well. So I do recommend if you're um, really into like storytelling and having an awesome style at the same time, check out Nivan Shantara. Um, and if you're into like mech design, check out his work. Um, oh shit, bro. Right? Now this head feels like one of the, the Ava heads in the Evangelion, the red one. Is it every three or something? Uh, the red one with the four eyes. Um, yeah. 
And again, he, he doesn't show like the, the gear and shit inside. He likes to cover that. And um, yeah, looks cool. Awesome. This one looks like an angel in the Evangelion, right? Like the proportions or the face also. Um, but again, so dynamic, very rounded, very organic. It's an organic mech. Um, lots of like military gear, kind of like a camo thing. Um, lots of cables. Um, and he's eating something. Again, the storytelling like this, or these sorts of details in storytelling, or it contributes to the storytelling. Fuck. Um, oh shit, in this piece, he doesn't do like, um, because it's rounded, he'll use a, a soft brush. Right? So it's a bit more rounded in this one. Most of most of his work is more like sharper, like very uh, solid kind of planes and shit. Even in the folds, it's a bit more solid looking and not super smooth, but um, yeah. Oh, he does add a bit of reflected kind of bouncing. Well not, well, not bouncing, but reflected lighting a bit, perhaps with some kind of soft brush here. You can see a bit, but it's not so prominent, right? Um, Maybe in this rounded form here a bit, and also in this guy, obviously, in this kind of vehicle, right? Oh, look at that. It's so packed. Um, very heavy. Ooh, and I like the the coloring style. The rendering style is a really, really kind of eye-catching to me. Um, he's a bit... Is it is different compared to, like, um... Is different compared to... Shinku Kim. I, I, I don't think I've reviewed Shinku Kim yet, but he does mechs as well, but he paints it. I mean, he can do like inks after, like he has like multiple like approaches, but a lot of his work is just painted with a flat brush and it looks really cool. So it's a, it's a nice kind of, um, it's nice seeing how artists have different like methods or have different ways of, or have different leans in approaching um, their work, right? Awesome. Again, it's a uh, the lighting is coming from the bottom, so that's cool. Same thing for this guy, right? Um. Oh, this one does have a cape, right? Kind of like a samurai thing. I love the hand pose there. Oh, this this one's even more dynamic, kind of like flying and shit or jumping. And he does have like a few heads attached. Or he's carrying around a few heads, maybe from his enemies, or maybe a replacement for his own head. Who knows? And he likes adding band-aids. And again, it adds to that human feeling, right? Like, it, it doesn't feel like a mech. Like, it feels like this guy can get hurt, right? And uh, that's actually one of the... One way you can make something feel human is... If you, like, add some kind of... Or if you suggest, like, the thing can get hurt, and that it's kind of not easily fixed it's going to feel more human right so i love the band-aids um oh he did add the kind of design to this uh to this fabric part the orange kind of graphic design right um awesome uh, this is another another example of the way he uh, i think there's a okay oh shit there isn't one um, he does provide like the line version, um, and you can see him use or put in some photo textures. Um, that it starts out as a photo, and then he converts that again with the the filter thing in Photoshop, and he'll bring that to the actual kind of line sketch, and that's a pretty cool way to add a bit of extra grit to the work, right? And maybe I think he did the same thing for the cables, perhaps. I'm not sure, but uh, this one feels like again. Like a scene from, like a keyframe, like an actual keyframe from a film. Um, yeah. Jesus, I love the smoke. Very, very smooth. Um, helps with the composition. It's uh, it's a full scene, right? Um, he even he did even show like this kind of uh, concrete part that's kind of blown off, I guess. Um, even though the, even though the background is heavily kind of grayed out, it has a lot of shit in it so shit wow this guy's pretty cool kind of like a sniper but he's attached to some kind of creature shit 
Uh, very, very kind of interesting looking. Same thing here. Ooh, this one's more... Even more dynamic, I guess. You can see the tip of the gun here. Damn. So this could be like the fuel tank that powers up the gun. And again, I love the smoke. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Um, oh, it's, I think it's the same guy. The same sniper dude. Holy shit. I, I think this is probably some kind of photo that he converted again to that with the filter thing. Helps to save time, right? Um, it gives him a chance to focus more on this guy. Oh, the design here in the back, it's a bit more smoother than his typical, than, than his typical stuff. Which is a bit more slightly, more angular-ish, but, um... Well, not- well, actually, this whole character is kind of consistent, right? The, the only thing that, that's a bit hard are the, the armored parts. Like, he does have this- it's, it's kind of armor that's not exactly, like, hard. It's a- it has, a, like, a soft outside to it. Um, I'm not sure how to describe that, but, um, yeah. It's kind of consistent. The design is kind of consistent, right? The gun, the actual person, the head, and this kind of back gear thing that's probably connected with the gun. Um, yes. Oh, he doesn't have like a lot of these mechs, like the 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 four-legged ones or kind of spider-like ones. Most of them are kind of they have more of a humanoid form, but it looks it still looks cool. Now the smoke here looks a bit sharper. It's more jaggedy. Um, in the ground though, it looks more smoother. Um, so maybe something just fired. Looks fucking awesome. Um, and he did kind of grade, uh, grade out the, uh, the back legs a bit here. Or this back leg. Um, there's a bit of a gradient making the leg kind of fade away. Great way to kind of add some sense of depth. Um, I love how he implanted the shadow here on the ground. And it goes with the, the way the ground is. The ground is kind of uneven. It's obvious. This thing is obviously in some kind of warrior area. War torn area. Um, and the shadow was kind of rightly placed in this kind of jaggedy kind of way. Or a broken kind of way. Right? And you can see that photo filter, that line filter thing, contour thing. In the background. Um, and also in the ground and a bit of the foreground area here. Um, and he doesn't overdo it. He evens it out throughout the piece. I'm usually done in the background, sometimes in the actual subject, if it's like a very big piece. Um, you've, I've shown you like... A few of his, a few of those kinds of things, but um, yeah. This one's more clean, not a lot of texture. He didn't do the whole photo filter thing, and it looks so anime-ish, um, <laughs> right? Oh, even oh shit! Look at the shot. Look at the shadows of the of the, uh, the smoke. He added like extra values, right? So he did spend the more time in the sh in the the clouds, or not clouds, but in the smoke as well. Um, it's a bit blurred in the background. Great way to add a bit of depth. Um, Jesus, man. Christ. That's so hot looking. Um, same thing for this guy. Not a lot of texture. Very, very clean way of rendering it. Right? Ah. It's beautiful. <laughs> Are there variations? Or is it one flat color? Because maybe there is a bit of variation. Um, I think it's just a clean way of rendering things. Even in, in the folds here, in the gear. Wow. Oh, okay. In this piece and in this piece, notice you can't, act, you can't see the, the line sketch. Okay, so that's why it looks kind of slightly different. Yeah, he uh, painted over it, so it looks more um, cleaner, I guess. Um, okay, that's a nice kind of observation there. Um, okay. So maybe that's why he did the clouds the same way as well. You can't- oh yeah, he did not add like the lines. Alright, he, uh, he removed it or painted over it, I guess. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Jesus Christ. 
Now this is this is more typical stuff where he'll he'll actually include like the line sketch in the beginning. Awesome. Now again, this one's pretty uh, one of the heavier ones where he does go heavy on the textures on the actual kind of subject and not just in the background. Um, and more of his line sketches here. Um, very cool stuff. Some are more kind of animalistic along with um, this one feels like it has like the jaw of the Ava 2 or Ava 1. The purple Ava Evangelion or mech in that kind of series. Um, oh my god. Um, Jesus Christ. He's so good. Sensei. Sensei. Uh, and this is the last piece we're going to review. He has like a lot, so I do recommend you actually check out his um Oh shit, I was supposed to go for like 30 minutes. Oh my god. It's almost an hour. I'm sorry. Um I can't help it. I actually um I knew I, I kind of subconsciously knew that I was <laughs> uh that I had like too many tabs open, but I just had to review it. Um just because uh, it's kind of very similar to where I want to head with my own shit. Because I'm trying to develop my own kind of personal project, right? Like my one thing. Because even though his like projects do vary, he has like a thing that he keeps going back to. Like he has a similar kind of style that he ke keeps um, going for. A similar kind of subject matter, like the mech thing. That's a bit more... That's kind of uh, hu human-like and some are more animal-like, right? And... Yeah, I want to have that thing as well, and um, I'm very inspired to see that kind of consistency um, in his work. And in a way, he's kind of building a world, although it's not very heavy on like the environment and shit. Um, you can see like, oh shit, uh, I can't really, hopefully I can find it. Oh shit, shit, shit. <sighs> yes, like it, with his pieces like this, it, it shows you what's possible or what he can do, right? Like he's probably not in his full form yet, right? <laughs> Um, so yeah, thank you for watching, keep painting, and stay free.